so currently this is my circuit this is nothing but 15 by 3 which is nothing but connected in parallel to 15 by 2 I have just drawn the equivalent I have not chained the series and parallel connections mind you for NMOS this was nothing but 3 times 10 and this was nothing but in series with 2 times 10 and this was my equivalent circuit we took the help of this equation and this equation to simplify because W by L was same now if you see my W by L is no longer same and hence we will have to use this general formula for series and parallel connections let's start with the parallel connections first so what is the equivalent of this PMOS it says that you have to just add the W by L's for parallel circuit so W by L parallel when W by L is not same is equal to W by L of say this is transistor 1 and this is transistor 2 of 1 plus W by L of transistor 2 which is nothing but 15 by 3 plus 15 by 2 which very simply is nothing but pure mathematics from here on by 6 so 12.5 so my PMOS equivalent is nothing but 12.5 now let's quickly go ahead and see the corresponding NMOS equivalent here. Let's quickly do that. I have two transistors in series. NMOS is nothing but 3 times 10 into 2 times 10. So we will be following this formula for series transistors. So let's call this transistor 1 and this is transistor 2. So W by L equivalent is equal to 1 by, yes that's correct, W by L of 1 by W by L of 1 plus 1 by W by L of 2 which is nothing but 1 by 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 30 because this is W by L 20 and this is W by L 30 which is pure maths from here that is nothing but 30 into 20 upon 50 which is nothing but 12 so my W by L for NMOS equivalent is nothing but 12 so we have got the PMOS equivalent we have got the NMOS equivalent we have to just substitute or we have to just draw an inverter equivalent and substitute the value of W by L in that. Let's quickly do that. So my final circuit is nothing but PMOS, NMOS, input shorted because it's an inverter. This is my VDD. This is my ground. This is my input. This is my output. And you have seen that W by L equivalent for PMOS is nothing but the size is nothing but 12.5 and W by L equivalent for NMOS my size was 12 so with that we got a corresponding inverter equivalent circuit remember for any such problems you have to just remember the general formulas for series and parallel and if the W by L's are same we have reduced the simplified formula as well and remember not to change the series and parallel connections but go through each branch draw a corresponding equivalent and finally what is left is nothing but your CMOS inverter. Hope you have understood this. Stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much.